was also way sunnier like an hour ago. Oh! Kick flip! You've seen the alleged fingerboard part. I have and I'm very impressed by it. That I respect. It's very ironic because I have talked so much shit on going to the fingerboard park and then the first time I went I was so insanely impressed by it. It's insane. And who, yeah. who built it? That, that guy right behind you, right there. Jaron Morgan Ellie. <laughs> Dude, Sam, I used to get tech decks and like burn the fucking bottom and just like bend it. I still love it all a bunch. <laughs> we used to make fingerboards out of index cards and weird Dude, shit. I used to make it out of notebook paper. I would Sick. like I would like take like a bunch of notebook paper and like fold it up into like a little rectangle, <laughs> cover it in duct tape with the sides bent, and then put staples all through the bottom. So it's oh like my the, God. the staples like hold your fingers on. <laughs> Sick. I don't know fun. why I did that, but. I don't actually really get, the only hate I get is from like my own friends probably. And it's mostly a joke, I guess. It's not really hate, it's like indirect, like I totally understand why somebody wouldn't like it. I don't know, it's kind of toned down a lot in the last couple of years because I've like really, for whatever reason, gone full on with it. We live in a time of high acceptance in skateboarding. So it's kind of like lucky timing that nobody really gives a shit anymore. Cooper is late, uh, but once he gets here, we're hopping in the Coke White Audi, and we're going to the DIY, and maybe get a clip for my part. I want to do nollie cab over the whole pyramid. I think I can do it. I can see you, darling. you slippery bastard. Can't even track you properly. <laughs> it all starts off with bowl skaters using homemade fingerboards to do bowl tricks and stuff like that. As seen in Bones Brigade Future Primitive video, there's one fingerboard clip of Lance Mountain doing a pretty steezy line and the whole crew is watching. We got Tony Hawk watching, Mike McGill. It's a pretty awesome little clip. I look up to those the guys doing it in Europe in like the mid 2000s. Like there's a video Fingers of Fury. It's like a 411 VHS fingerboarding video that uh, Tooth told me about. He told me about that video and I watched it and it was like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, Mike Schneider was like the main I feel like the main dude who like started doing it stateside and really like if it weren't for him I feel like it would be a way different uh, way different game in America he's like he's the reason it's so popular over here here we are the undisclosed location We're under the Kosciuszko Bridge on the Queen side. Brooklyn is just right there. Like, it just started as like an after-work project and just like something to do 
you know, fingerboarding is like weird where like everyone does it, but no one really like talks about it. So there isn't like a, a fingerboard spot in New York City. And like, I would like lurk on Instagram and see like all these cool spots and like, you know, where like Berlin wood comes from and you know, they got like all these nice parks. Like, so we thought it'd be cool to have one in New York. I love it. I love it. I think it's awesome. I think that the I think it's dope that there's people like doing this, like creating things like this in the tri-state area for other fingerboarders to enjoy. I'm like kind of just learning how to do all this stuff, so it's like I think eventually I'll probably take more pride in it when I can like make something really crispy. But I started out just coming here by myself with like a bunch of stuff from the hardware store and just kind of winging it. So I'm like, now I'm getting a little better at making stuff. When something isn't as popular, you know that the people that are doing it are doing it because they really th are into it and think it's cool and like care about it. And then when stuff gets bigger, it's like less likely that the saturation of people doing it are doing it because they actually really care about it. The thing that we really have going for us and seeing it done this way will be more relatable to skaters because I think fingerboarding ultimately is super fucking boring to watch if you're not, if you don't do it. This is the point in time where we look back on and we're like, oh, you guys were all calling it lame and now you're all doing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, like I, I... Everybody is going to start doing this. <laughs> For sure. Probably not. <laughs> so maybe yours, maybe 